actually Nate Diaz's legacy will be probably the baddest motherfucker to ever fight in the UFC. You know, um, Nate Diaz has always went to the beat of his own drum. He's a man that wasn't scared to fight anybody. He's a man who probably, if you were fight to the death, he'd probably always win and probably be undefeated at this moment right now. But a fan favorite, a great fighter, a great martial artist, and one of the realists to do it. You know, Nate Diaz's legacy, if this is his last fight, it's a great one. You know, he's made a big splash towards the end of his career now. He's been around forever. I don't think you can think of the UFC without thinking of the Diaz brothers in general and Nick and Nate. Um, so, you know, great legacy. He's, he's a very loved fighter. I'm a, I'm a fan of Nate. His legacy to me is always going to be a guy that always brought it and it always brought in an entertainment type of value. And it, Nate Diaz's legacy, for me, the biggest thing that stands out for me is just how he didn't really give a fuck, right? He would lose a fight. He goes, man, I won that fucking fight. And everyone goes, yeah, you know what, Nate you did win that fucking fight, even though he lost. There's no such thing as an impossible obstacle. Roadblocks cannot stop the unstoppable. They said it was improbable. Failure was laudable. I'm not about to listen to the noise. To me, it's inaudible. I mean, he just, you know what, I have a lot of respect for him, he did it his way, I'm not afraid of anything, a tough as come, a dog through and through, and I mean, he's a fighter fighter, you know, fighter fighter. What made it hard for him is that he came in on the tails of his brother Nick, who was already a star, right? So uh, coming through the tough show, uh, that's what I remember is the fight when he fought Manny Gambarian because Nate had to prove himself, and doing so, uh, becoming the tough champion was a big giant step. And then after that, uh, of course, then you know he produced. Do I got a lot of respect for Nate Diaz, man? Love him like he's my son. All right, keep it up, Nate. Dale gas, si se puede. There's no such thing as an impossible obstacle. Roadblocks cannot stop the unstoppable. They said it was improbable. Failure was laudable. I'm not about to listen to the noise. To me, it's inaudible. Don't let them. Nope. Don't let them. Man, I, I've been a, I've been a fan of the Diaz brothers for a very long time. Uh, just because I love their style, I always love that come forward pressure, uh, not gonna stop and not care. Uh, I remember when he fought Ben Henderson here in Seattle. It was one of the damn fights in uh, Seattle. And him and uh, Ben Henderson were fighting, and he made Ben Henderson do the splits. And Nate Diaz responded like, fuck you, you, you athletic bastard. It's gotta be the stocking slap. Got got Connor slapped up, and then I think he slapped up Dana and a couple other guys there. So, you know, he uh, kind of revolutionized the, the, the five fingers of the face. And he fought Cowboy Cerrone. That was just such a, an amazing matchup, you know, at face value. They weigh in, he knocks his hat off, and, you know, like nobody disrespects Cowboy like that. Nate fought Conor McGregor for the first time. He took it on a couple weeks notice and just said, screw it, we're gonna fight. And like the whole lead up and everything, you can kind of just see like Nate just like, it just amplified him to another level. Everything that he did, especially since it was against one of, one of the biggest names at the time in Conor McGregor, just like, holy crap, like everybody just jaw dropped because no one has been able to do that to Conor McGregor up until that point. I think an instant Hall of Famer, he's a pioneer, um, just a career he's put together, fighting at 155 all the way up to 170, fighting anybody, anytime, any place. Um, I think to me, Nate is just going to be one of those those pioneers that are going to be synonymous when you talk about the UFC. I was at the BMF fight um, to watch him and George fight, and that was really special. So. Um, just to see the heart of a warrior and a dog live and in person was really cool for me and uh, definitely a moment I'll never forget. Nate Diaz is an uh, inspiration on how you don't let your fights, your wins or losses affect you. Just keep going forward and, and pushing, pushing through and doing what you love. So I think he is truly one of the, the last fighters, fighters fight uh, in mixed martial arts. So best to you, man, and uh, good luck in your final fight. such thing as an impossible obstacle.